hear so many sounds in our surroundings in our daily life when a lion roars we hear a sound if we pluck a string of musical instrument guitar sitar we hear a sound water pouring into a glass bat hitting a hitting the ball water hitting on the rocks etc are some of the examples of different kinds of sound sound plays a very important role in our daily life most importantly it helps us to communicate with each other have you ever thought about what actually produces sound first we need to understand by vibration what is vibration it is to and fro or back and forth motion of an object for example if we stretch we uh, stretch the rubber band in our hand and pluck in the middle it starts to move back and forth it shows it starts to vibrate it is the vibration that produces sound yes the vibrating body that produces sound i hope all of you understood this topic hi dear students welcome back to the class last video we discussed about vibration of sound now you will know about sound yes okay so today we are going to discuss the topic some common terms used in sound what are the terms used in sound yes that's right amplitude then frequency then what is noise yeah echo like that okay so see in sound the formal terms that is in sound that is amplitude frequency and the uh, time period these are the common terms okay clear yes so first of all we want to know about vibration what is vibration yes to and to and fro motion otherwise back and forth back and forth motion of a vibrating body that is vibration okay otherwise oscillation you know that oscillation okay so See, this is toning fork. This is two fifty six hertz toning fork. Why this is two fifty six uh, hertz toning fork? Because of when it will struck on the hard rubber. This is the hard rubber. Okay, when this struck on the hard rubber, it will vibrate. It will vibrate two fifty six times. Okay. you are not able to see the video or this vibration but when you will come to the uh, school then will show you this one okay you can able to feel this when it this with the in your hand you will stand on the rubber um, hard rubber it will vibrate okay so this is what tuning fork clear so how this tuning fork vibrate see when this struck on it will vibrate okay so think about this is the mean position this is the mean position okay this is the mean position that thing it is a take it a okay so when it will be vibrate it will when it will vibrate okay it will move forward back and forth always to and fro motion this is stone for okay so when this stone for struck on the hard rubber okay so it will vibrate okay so think about this is a knee position here is the knee position of the tuning fork arm okay and this will vibrate it will move here this side that is the b okay x c position of b okay and this come this come back side okay to the knee position of a and this move front side that is o that is the extreme position of c and taking this c extreme position
position that moves to the main position A. So, like this way it will vibrate. Okay. So, this vibration of the movement of to and fro or back and forth movement of body that is known as moving body that is known as what white one vibration. So, what is this one vibration? This main position that moves forward by the arm of the twin for that move to the right side. Okay, right side that is extreme position and it will come back to the middle position. And plus again move this arm move to the left side extreme position of extreme position that is C and this again move back to the main position. Okay, so this is the vibration of word sound. Okay, clear? And these vibrations are periodic vibration. These are periodic vibration. And what is the one vibration? One, this two and this two and fro motion of the prolonged effort mean position that is known as one vibration. Okay. All vibrating bodies or particles that pose the same motion or similar motion. Okay. And next is this amplitude. What is amplitude? The maximum displacement of a vibrating body from the main position that is known as what? Amplitude. So, maximum vibration from here in this uh, in case of the swim for the maximum vibration A to B that is maximum vibration. Otherwise, we can even take this one A to C. So, this is called amplitude. The maximum displacement, okay, maximum displacement of a moving body from its main position that is known as called amplitude. And this amplitude that is in a delta K and it is a unit of amplitude that is decibel. And this decibel is in the letter that is DB. D, small letter, base, capital letter, and B that is following the bell system. Okay. Give me one example of amplitude. Yes. The stationary body is struck slowly or very less force. Okay. It will produce what very. It has less amplitude. Okay. Just think about now. I have this thing. Okay. I just. A strike on this table okay very slowly I am playing very less force okay it will it has got very less amplitude other case I just give uh, I apply more force on the high okay I apply more force so you heard the more sound okay so I apply more more force so it is a large sorry more force so it is a large amplitude otherwise high amplitude so the amplitude large amplitude that is the loudness in case of drum when you are uh, strike with this uh, hit on the drum very slowly otherwise you are applying very less force it will produce a very soft sound that is for less amplitude of the sound okay and after uh, you hit on the drum that is uh, you apply you hit on the drum with it will produce large amount of sound okay so that is high um, amplitude okay that is high amplitude or higher amplitude next we are going to discuss in the topic that is frequency and this frequency that is a letter that is small letter f okay small letter f and the unit is hertz the symbol is hz okay capital h z is it clear Yes, so what is frequency? The number of vibration produced by a vibrating body that is known as how many numbers of vibration that produced by a vibrating body that is known as what frequency. Okay. So just think about now the sonic for give a one vibration. So the number of vibration that is one. So the frequency that is one hertz. Okay. So, in case of this tuning fork, it is producing what 256 vibration in a one strike. One strike. So, the hertz, the frequency of this uh, tuning fork, that is 256 hertz. So, frequency.
frequency means what frequency means the how many vibrations are produced in a one second how many vibrations are produced in a at a one second that is known as what frequency okay and the next is bigger units of frequency bigger units of frequency that you know that that uh, um, kilohertz megahertz these are the kilohertz megahertz these are the what bigger units of frequency so what kilo frequency means how much 1 kilo frequency means that is equal to 1000 hertz okay 1 kilo frequency sorry 1 kilo hertz that is equal to 1000 hertz okay and the next is mega 1 mega hertz that is equal to 10 lakh hertz Ten lakh hertz. Okay, so this is the these are the bigger units of frequency, kilohertz and the megahertz. One kilohertz that is equal to thousand hertz, and one megahertz that is equal to ten lakh hertz. Okay, clear? Yes. And next we are going to discuss the next term that is time period that represents the length of time. the time in which vibrating body that complete in a one vibration that is known as what time period and time period that is represented in letter t okay capital letter t if f is the frequency of the vibrating body and t capital letter t the time period One by frequency. Okay, so this is the time period. T equals to T equal to one by f. Okay. Do you understand this topic? There's some common terms used in sound. What are the terms used in sound? Yes. First one is amplitude, and the second one is frequency and third is time period what are the bigger units of um, frequency yes kilohertz megahertz okay yes and now we are going to discuss in another topic do you feel all vibration producing sound all vibrations Now I'm going to touch here. It produces sound. No. Some sound. We are some vibrations. We are not uh, able to perceive. Okay. So all vibrations are not producing sound. 
human ear is not sensitive to vibrations of all frequencies okay vibrations of all frequencies so some sound we are not able to hear you heard the sound of what this um earthquake no why that is earthquake that using what that is that is infrasonic sound because that is below 20 hertz okay these frequencies are we are not able to hear clear so first one is the infrasonic sound if the frequency of vibration is less than 20 hertz the human ear cannot perceive them so this kind of vibrations that is known as what infrasonic sound okay below 20 hertz clear and the next is sound vibrations or sonic sound if the frequency of vibration is between the 20 hertz to 20000 hertz then these sound these vibrations we can able to hear okay so this type of um vibration is called as what sound vibration or sonic sound and this infrasonic sound is also called as subsonic sound what subsonic sound okay so sound vibration or sonic vibration the sonic sound so this is audible to human okay it is between the 20 hertz to 20000 hertz and the next is ultrasonic sound if the frequency of vibration above 20000 hertz then the human ear cannot perceive this vibration so this vibrations are known as what ultra sonic sound ultra sonic vibration or ultra sonics you know this infra uh, sonic sound and ultra sonic sound these vibrations are uh, perceive some animals and some animals here using this ultra sonic sound infra sonic sound that produced to the uh, rhinoceros one horn rhinoceros okay and this ultra sonic sound that find um dog dolphins bats these are used uh, with, uh, find the ultra sonic sound okay so what are the uses of ultrasonic sound homogenizing milk when the ultrasonic sound that passes through the milk it will um, break down the large particles of fat from smaller particles okay and this ultrasonic sound that will helps to wash the dishes okay uh, next this ultrasonic sound that um, used to depress the rat and cockroaches okay and some animals that uh, used ultrasonic sound that's now only to you what yes this dog uh, bat and dolphins okay i hope all of you understood this topic the last class we discussed about some common terms used in sound today we are going to discussing the topic a reflection of sound what reflection of sound the concept of reflection of sound is very familiar to everyone give me one example for the reflection of sound yes that's right when we are enter in the empty flat empty flat means there is only the wall only the wall there is no furniture it is not furnished so when uh, you are talking inside the uh, inside the flat it will be reflect the sound will be reflect so that is the example of what reflection of sound okay let's understand uh, understand this by a small activity okay so here see this is a hard plywood what plywood okay and this is the cardboard two cardboard tubes so we have to take what two cardboard tubes and 
are plywood. Okay, and these uh, two copper tubes that this um, place near the hard plywood. Okay, then after one end of the cardboard tube, I kept for you can keep if any uh, sound producing objects like a board, a speaker like that. Okay, here I kept board stopwatch. Okay, this is the soft wood. This is another cardboard tube, so we are hearing the sound a reflection. The, we are hearing the reflection of sound from here. Okay. So how this work? When the stopwatch work, work, okay. So the sound is travel. Sound is travel to this cardboard tube, and this touch on the touch on the hard plywood, okay, plywood. And this when it is touched on the hard plywood, it is a reflector. To the another direction, okay. It is reflected to the another direction. This is soft wood. Another direction, okay. So like this way, we can able to hear the sound. That means reflection of sound, okay. So this is the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence, okay, and this is the angle of reflection. Uh, give me the definition of sound. Define sound. Anybody knows? Yes, that's right. What is the definition of sound? Sound is defined as oscillation of auditory sensation evoked by oscillation. In particle, displacement of velocity prolonged, I'm sorry, propagated in a medium with internal force. This is the definition of word sound. Okay, this is the definition of sound. Sound propagate in a mechanical wave through air through the medium such as air or water sound that propagate in a mechanical wave okay mechanical wave through the medium such as solid or water okay so this is sound so what is the reflection of sound the phenomenon due to Due to the sound energy is striking on some hard surface. Okay, sound energy that striking on hard surface, it's bounce off. It's bounce off. This is known as what reflection of sound. So, what is the reflection of sound? The phenomenon due to which sound energy on striking hard substance or surface. Bounces off in some another direction is called what reflection of sound. Okay, so this reflection of sound is like a reflection of light. Okay, reflection of sound that is just like a reflection of light. So the reflection of the sound that follows the laws of reflection of reflection. Okay, follows the laws of reflection. So you know that. Now we yes, uh, so the figure what the angle of reflection where the angle of reflection that is equal to the is equal to the angle of incidence. Okay, that is equal to the angle of incidence and the reflection of sound. Angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Okay, the reflection of sound that is equal to the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection and the reflection of sound. The incident sound and the reflected sound that is belongs in the same plane. Okay, that is belongs in the same 
film on bounds of the surface of the medium which can be solid or liquid in order to make the reflection of sound okay so it occur the surface can be large maybe the surface that is in a large surface in order to make the sound or reflection of sound that occur the surface may be the hard surface either it is polished or rough surface okay and next is loss of reflection so the loss of reflection what is the loss of reflection yes the angle of reflection of sound angle of reflection of sound that is equal to the angle of incident of sound okay that is the first law and the second law that is the the reflection of sound the incident of sound and the normal sound and the normal sound these belongs into the same plane so this is the laws of reflection i hope all of you understood this topic okay thank you You know that someone is standing outside your door when you hear the doorbell. The sound of the doorbell travelled to you. Can you guess how it travelled? It travelled through air. Yes, here the medium of propagation is air. Sound requires a medium for propagation. Is the medium always air? Not necessarily. The medium of propagation of sound can be solids, liquids or gases. Yes. sound can also travel through solids and liquids before we get to that let us see some other examples of sound propagating through air remember air is nothing but a mixture of gases sound of the siren when the train is approaching you sound of glass breaking sound of the firecracker etc are some of the examples where the medium of propagation is air sound can also propagate through liquids Let us do one experiment to see this. We place the bell in the water like this so that it does not touch the base of the container. Now keep one of your ears close to the surface of water and shake the bell inside. Do you hear the sound? Yes, you do. Here the medium of propagation is water. What instrument does the doctor use to check the rate of your heartbeat? Yes, it's called a stethoscope. Doctors place the small disc shaped object called a turnable diaphragm against your chest. The sound of your heartbeat travels through the tube and can be heard from the two ear pieces. So can you guess the medium of propagation of sound here? Yes, here the medium of propagation is a solid. The tube through which the sound travels is the solid. Now suppose you're standing on one side of a brick wall and your friend on another side with one of his ears close to the surface of the wall hit the wall with some wooden object ask your friend if he hears the sound on the opposite side i'm sure he will say yes here the medium of propagation is again a solid so with the help of a few examples we saw that sound can travel through solids liquids and gases but does it mean that sound can travel through anything and everything The answer is resounding no. The sound cannot travel through vacuum. What is a vacuum? It is a space from where all or most of the matter is removed. Example is outer space. Yes, we cannot hear sound in outer space. That is why they say in space no one can hear you scream. In the next video, we are going to talk about some important properties of sound. known as amplitude and frequency